This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion hey is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while, but let's get things going again here. Today we're taking a look at the Toy World TWGS02 Whiskey Jack. This is their legend scale cell shaded version of a G1 wheel jack. He does look amazing. So, I'm pretty excited to get, in, get into it with you. But first, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to get your bell on. Let's see what he has in store for us. Stay tuned. As usual, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at his accessories. So, he comes with two. The uh, typical wheel jack shoulder cannon, which is done really nice detailed and painted with the cell shaded looks really really good I think they did a wonderful job on this it looks amazing and the shoulder cannon does mount perfectly in the little hole on the shoulder nice snug fit there's no tilt or anything to it but does work really good looks great he also comes with the wheel jack pistol which you'd expect from the G1 cartoon sculpted nicely again done in white and gray cell shading dark gray there on the bottom I love how they accent the trim lines with the black it does look really really good and the gun will fit snugly into his hand just be careful because of paint it is a little tricky to get out so but he does hold it just fine if you want to you can store both weapons in vehicle mode or you can actually just take the cannon off the pistol off and use the shoulder cannon if you'd like or nothing at all they just slide into the hole there on the top like here's whiskey jack in his vehicle mode and i mean as you can see they just nailed it with this cell shading let's go ahead and take a look here just going down the side looks amazing all the panel lines with the black gray green dark green Gray on the wheels. Coming across the top. A little bit of an unsightly hole there for the shoulder cannon, but man, it gets washed out in all this different color. But love the way the windshield looks coming down across the top. Luckily, there is a little bit of a gap here, but. The cell shading actually helps cover it up really good. Coming across the front, beautiful sculpt on the grill and the headlights. Nicely painted details everywhere on this guy. And this side is predominantly white. And if you turn them around, this side is predominantly gray. So it's shadowed out. But it still looks really good. Coming across to the back, nice painted and detailed taillights. Those are actually raised up and detailed. Nice paint on the spoiler and the vents on the rear window. It looks amazing. And there's a look from the bottom. It looks really, really good. Toy World really outdid themselves on this one. I think it looks amazing. They could probably do this and get away with it with a masterpiece scale also, to be honest. It is a remarkable, remarkable paint job on this guy. And he does roll really, really good. So they all the alt mode, they knocked it out of the park. They really, really did. Just for a comparison for size, let's bring in the new age Monero, their version of Jazz. 
so you get a sense of how big it is. Scales, scales very nicely in my opinion. I have no complaints. But let's go ahead and move into transformation. Now this guy is pretty simple. All right, so let's get into transformation. Fairly simple and straightforward. First thing I like to do, separate the legs from the rest of the body. Kind of get them out and swing the pelvis out. Separate the legs. Kind of fold those out as you would expect. Fairly simple. You'll feel them pop into place. And then bring your toes forward. So there's the legs done. So let's go ahead and start on the upper half. I'm going to push these in. That'll bring your arms out. Again, push the flank in. Bring the arm out. And you can give yourself a little more clearance by tilting these guys up. Swing your arm around. Straighten it out. Pretty simple. Now with these guys back, that unlocks the wings. So bring them out. And swing them forward. You gotta wait till you have the backpack across the back because you won't be able to swing them out if you don't. And then they'll slide up underneath canopy or the windshield Let's bring these guys back in so the bumper folds nicely underneath the, the trunk and then this peg right here will peg in right here in the back you'll feel it click in that way you know you have it done And there you go. Transformation, pretty simple, straightforward. It works really, really good. And here we have Whiskey Jack in his robot mode. And I gotta say, with this paint scheme, he looks fantastic. It's hard to tell that he's really standing there as a toy. They've done the cell shading paint on this guy so well. Let's take a look at some detail here. You got white paint on the head, nothing on the eyes, which is a little disappointing. Kind of gives him a dead look, but got the gray accents on the wings. Cell shading going all the way across the top. Coming down the chest, you got the, the G1 cartoon esque paint scheme here with the cell shading on the windows. Uh, painted in, actually that's a molded in windshield wiper. Coming down the arms, you've got great details here. I love the cell shaded look on him. Same on the other side. Details on the, the legs, the crotch. Coming down to the feet. And this paint is just exceptional. It looks really good. Even details on the back of the legs, which you never really see. I mean, this is on the bottom of the car in, in car mode, but they still did it. It looks really, really good. The back cleans up exceptionally well. Reminds me of a, it's kind of like a mini masterpiece, to be honest. It's really, really good. bit of paint chipping there but most likely for me trying to wedge the shoulder cannon in but I mean he just looks awesome could not be happier with the way he turned out articulation wise head is on a ball so it's pretty stiff but you 
can twist it 180. You do get up quite a bit, but not so much down. Wings are fixed in robot mode. They don't really want to go anywhere because they're locked in on the, the roof. Shoulders are on a ball, so you can get out to there. Full 360. Uh, forearms are on a ball, so you do get a swivel. And the hands are fixed in place. I don't think there's, yeah, there's no, no rotation on those guys. Again, same on the other side. Wheel can spin. Uh, you no waist rotation or ab crunch. But I guess that's typical for a legend. All right, hips are on a ball, so you can get all the way out. More than, more than enough on the front, as well as on the back. No rotation at all, except for the ball joint. But knees, yeah, you get just shy of 90. I guess say we give it to him. Let's call it 90 degrees. And then feet to go up and down, up a little bit but down all the way because of transformation. And you do get an ankle pivot. A little bit out, but really good in. So for such a small figure, he looks really, really good. I don't have any complaints. And the, the detail that they put into this guy is just stellar. It looks amazing. Really, really well done. Just for comparison, here he is with the New Age Monero, the version of Jazz, and the Magic Square Soundwave. So, scale-wise, I think he uh, stands up pretty good in the Legends series.